Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Umbreon Messiah, and today we begin World 2 of Wario Land, Mount Teapot. So this is going to bring us to course number 7, and as you can immediately see, there's some different things between this course and the last one we were on, mainly this one has a lot more water. Now, I don't really understand what's with these seahorse-like things, but they go crazy on you if they see you. Um, and those little sea urchin thingies, I don't really know what they are. Uh, they explode after a while, so you try not to get on their bad side. Now, being underwater, a uh, bull Wario cannot charge, so that leaves us kind of defenseless other than our wits. One of the things I actually kind of like about Wario Land is that the environments are really interactive. There's never really something that doesn't interact with the environment if it can do something. Alright, so here we have the third and best hat, the Jet Wario hat. And the Jet Wario hat does pretty much what you'd expect it to do. It propels you like a jet through the air or through the water. This means you can dash underwater and you can travel great distances in the air. It's amazing. Now, obviously, after getting the Jet Wario power-up, I have no desire to get that garlic, onion, whatever the hell it is, as that would turn me back into Bull Wario and completely defeat the purpose of having gotten this hat. Now, I'm going to show you the quick way across the rest of this. There is a trick you can do with the Jet Hat uh, after it starts to slow down. If you turn uh, in the opposite direction and then turn back and use the jet, it will allow you to use the jet again in the air. It's kind of cool. Now, let's just try to get past this seahorse of death. And not get exploded on, that'd be nice. Now, I can't personally remember if there's a treasure around here, but yes, you can also use the jet hat to do things like that and get the secret areas. And I think you actually need the jet hat to get one of the treasures. I can't remember. Yeah, we can just pretty much use it to skip the remainder of that. No reason to show that off if I don't have to, because I normally wouldn't. And well, if you get the jet hat and you don't do that, you're doing something wrong. All right. Now, someone expressed a desire in watching me make a fool of myself in these mini-games. Ow! But, considering what I'm trying to do, making a fool of myself in these mini-games just isn't a good idea. I mean, there's always the chance I could come off with big payouts, but there's always the chance that'll happen, too. And I would rather try to collect as much money as possible. coins to my tab. Now, this level has a secret exit. Of course, eight. But we're not going to get it right now, because it opens up not just another path, but another world that we're not going to do just yet. Going to wait till Mount Teapot's done to do that. Oh, the other thing that the Jet Hat does that I forgot to mention is that it increases Wario's land speed, so you run a bit faster. Kind of neat. Oh, missed me. And grab these and go over here. Now, this area is kind of annoying because it gives you a lot of those exploding sea urchin thingies and they tend to bounce around a lot. So you kind of have like an equal opportunity to completely screw yourself by picking one up. The physics makes absolutely no sense. Now, I'm going to grab this jet hat, even though I probably shouldn't. Uh, the extra hearts are nice. Let's try to not fail here. Yep, let's not pick that up, because that'll just be bad for me. Now, here we have another set of new enemies that you can actually kill with a dash from Jet Warrior. The penguin... Uh, I'm sorry, not penguin. Pelican things. Um, shoot... What is it? They throw the exploding sea urchins at you, if you give them the chance. 
Uh, it's usually just better not to. You can also stop them by hitting them from below, but that just sort of knocks them unconscious. It doesn't really get rid of them. Yeah, see? Exploding Sea Urchin thingy. But if you have the jet power up, you can charge them and actually get rid of them, which is kind of neat. Alright, here we have, um, water currents. I'm sure everyone's done something like this in a game before. Jet Warrior allows you to fight the current a little easier. Uh, it's entirely possible to fight the current without its help. Probably preferable, actually. Uh, gotta be careful with these guys. Alright, that's another jet hat. Don't need that currently. Alright, get past him, and into the door! I believe over here is where that secret exit is, with these two rat guys. Oh no! You jerk! Well, as you can see, the game is trying to point us in the correct direction, but we're not going there currently. So let's just head into the exit here and cry myself to sleep after having lost the jet hat. And skip this noise. And let's move on to Course 9, shall we? Course 9, ho! Ah, yes, this theme. I actually kind of like this theme. It's mysterious and eerie. Ah, there we are. More garlic. And into the waterfall. Uh, no. I'm gonna check these chests, the uh, boxes, because I can't remember what's in them. I don't know why I'm calling them chests. Not chests. Eh, more garlic. Stupid crab people! Those are hermit crabs, right? I'm not losing my mind or anything, am I? I guess not. Okay, now. This area is where our next treasure is gonna be, but it pulls that sort of early 90s video game, this is how you hide a secret sort of deal. It's actually really well done, and I kinda get the feeling that a lot of more recent gamers wouldn't pick up on this. Which is sad in so many ways, but... Ah, here we are, another jet hat. Sweet. Now, I believe this is just the midway point. Yeah, just the midpoint. Not gonna bother spending my cash on that. Or maybe this isn't where that treasure is. Maybe I'm thinking of the next level. In either, in any event, these penguin thingies need to go. They're annoying. This is their little balls of death. Ha! Just skip most of that. Not worth dealing with those guys. Another jet hat. Boing. Boing. Okay, now see here we have a key. But we if we go forward, we will not find a treasure chest. But we also have this broken block here. And this broken block is meant to denote a hidden doorway. With a giant coin worth a hundred friggity coins. Hell yeah! And in here, we have the treasure door. Walk on inside, bust open the treasure chest, and collect a heart. Sweet. And that will go on space B. And that is our second treasure out of 26. Is it 26? I may have miscounted. Anyway, now that we've collected that treasure, we're free to finish up the rest of the level. Which shouldn't be too... Okay, now there's these things. You can jump on top of them, but if you don't, they stick to you, and the only way to get rid of them is to leave them on another surface. Hmm. Question is, do I do the minigame here, or just take the coins? Let's do it! End this video on something of a high note, I hope. That is not a high note! That is a tent on the way. Stop it, Wario. Aw, oh, come on. 
This is even isn't even failure. This is just bad luck. I hate you with the fiery intensity of a million foreman grills. Uh, well, that'll teach me to do that. Oh, what do you know? Not 26 treasures. More like 20. But that is the end of this video. See you next time when we continue more Wario Land.